Hello, it's nice to see you once again. Today we're going to start a project that has been a favorite of Floodbrook students and their parents for over 20 years. If you go in houses in any of our mountain towns, you'll find beautifully framed sunflowers. They were all inspired by the artist Van Gogh. You can see some of the ones behind me. Aren't they lovely? Now, um, Van Gogh is known for his thick paint and swirly texture. He painted one of what is now one of the most famous paintings in the world, The Starry Night. You see all the, the swirls, the texture, the wonderful color? He got this by putting on his paint very thickly. Now, before we get out our art supplies to make our own Van Gogh, I'm going to read you a book about the story of this tragic artist. Now listen carefully, because I'm, when you share your work with me, I'm going to ask you to also share a Van Gogh fact that you remember. And what you can do is put it in the comments under your work when you submit it. Okay? Let's get started. Getting to know the world's greatest artist, Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh was one of the most tragic artists who ever lived. Nothing ever seemed to go right for him, and he wasn't very happy. He never even smiled in his self-portraits. Van Gogh was born in Holland in 1853 and died in France in 1890. Unlike most artists, van Gogh didn't decide to become a painter until he was grown up. He tried a lot of other things first, and I'll read to you the funny parts. You call that a good painting? My five-year-old could do better. This isn't making me happy. He started out as an art dealer. Then he was a teacher. Oh, look at him. He's, they're throwing things, making fun of him. This isn't making me happy either. He tried being a bookseller. This definitely isn't making me happy. No, I said that one, can't you hear? He worked in an art gallery, selling paintings. He tried teaching. He worked in a bookstore. And he was even a preacher like his dad. None of these things made him very happy. One day, he decided to be an artist. Van Gogh always tried his best at whatever he did, so he went to different art schools to learn everything he could about drawing and painting. His early drawings were of poor people he used to help when he was a preacher. There are certain things you can see in these drawings that show up later in his famous paintings, such as the strong lines and shapes. You can see the feelings he had for everyday people. Van Gogh's first paintings were also of the poor people he had been helping. In this painting, the family was so poor, they only had a few potatoes to eat for dinner. They looked tired and not very happy. The colors in Van Gogh's early paintings are dark and sad. He wanted everyone to know how hard the lives of the poor people were. Van Gogh kept using dark colors until he discovered some very colorful Japanese artwork. He loved the bright colors and strong lines and shapes he saw. Wow, I wonder what this bright stuff is. It's called yellow, blue, red, and orange. Soon, Van Gogh's paintings started to look much more colorful. Look at the difference between the gloomy potato eater eaters, which is back here. Ooh, let's see if we can find it. Gloomy and bright. Now, this painting was here was done a few years later. Look how bright the colors are. We know a lot about how Van Gogh felt and why he did certain things because he was always writing letters to his younger brother, Theo. Theo always helped his brother. He encouraged him to paint and sent him money when he could. Who's it from, dear? It's a letter from Vincent. He says he's sick, nobody likes him, his room doesn't have any heat, his back is killing him, and I should send him money as soon as possible. Hmm, sounds like he's doing much better. Because Van Gogh was always sending and receiving letters, he got to know his postman pretty well. He painted pictures of him and used the postman's wife as a model in many of his paintings as well. In 1886, Vincent moved to Paris to join Theo. Paris was the center of the art world then. 
Since Thea was in the business of buying and selling paintings and Vincent wanted to be an artist, it seemed like a pretty good place to be. Theo introduced Vincent to a lot of painters while they lived in Paris. Vincent, I'd like you to meet Toulouse-Lautrec, Emile Bernard, Camille Pissarro, Georges Seurat, Paul Signac, Paul Gauguin. These are now very famous artists, by the way. But Van Gogh goes, gee, Theo, I was hoping to meet somebody famous. Hardly anybody knew it then, but many of those painters would become world famous artists someday. A couple of years later, Vincent van Gogh decided to leave Paris and move to a small country town called Arles. Van Gogh thought Arles would be a great place for artists to get together to paint and talk about their different ideas. He tried very hard to get as many as artists as he could to join him. The only one to try it out was Paul Gauguin, although he really wasn't crazy about the idea. It turned out to be a big mistake. Gauguin didn't seem to like anything Van Gogh did in Arles. They argued a lot. Your cooking is terrible. Your paintings are terrible. I'm a better artist than you are. I wish I never came here. Worst of all, you never pick anything up. This place is a mess. You're such a grouch. Van Gogh probably decided to listen to Gauguin about cleaning the place up because his bedroom looks very neat in this painting. Finally, after a very bad argument, Gauguin decided to leave Van Gogh and return to Paris. Van Gogh didn't know what to do. He really wanted things to work out with Gauguin. Van Gogh had always had problems during his life with the way he felt. Sometimes he would get so angry and upset that no one could make him feel better. This time, he became so angry, he cut off part of his ear. And I like to explain this is how um, poor Van Gogh had a mental illness. And back then, they really didn't have as many good medicines and treatments to help people as they do today. So it was a very difficult time for him. Van Gogh painted pictures of himself after this happened. It looks like he wished he hadn't done it. Vincent Van Gogh never really got better after Gauguin left him. Sometimes he was too angry to paint, and sometimes he was too sad to paint. But when he felt good, he painted better than other. He made the stars and the starry night seem like they're really shining. The trees in this painting look like flames, and it feels like the whole picture is moving. In this painting, Van Gogh made the sun look really hot. You almost feel like you should put on sunglasses to look at it. Van Gogh usually put his paint on very thick. And you look closely because we'll be painting sunflowers like these. Sometimes he painted so fast, he didn't even mix his colors. He used paint right out of the tubes. Van Gogh used so much paint, he some, was always running out. Sometimes he stopped buying food in order to buy more paint, so he was hungry a lot of the time, and he wasn't very healthy. I'd like to order some lemon yellow, pea green, cherry red, and I'll have an orange for dessert. I think he's very hungry. Hardly anyone was interested in Van Gogh's work while he was alive. He sold only a few drawings and maybe one or two paintings. People in the 1880s and 1890s just weren't used to the bright, moving pictures that Van Gogh made. Today, things are different. People have learned how beautiful Vincent Van Gogh's art is. Now his paintings are some of the most popular in the world. Van Gogh, guess what? You finally sold a painting. Hmm, maybe I have a future in this after all. This painting here may have been Van Gogh's last painting. Some people think it shows how angry and upset he must have been feeling because he painted a scary sky, roads that led to a dark background, and crows that looked like bats. Soon after this painting was finished, Van Gogh shot himself. He died two days later. Van Gogh made his painting seem alive with color. 
His colors are so bright and beautiful, you can almost smell the flowers he painted or feel the bright sun. His brush strokes give you a feeling of movement. Trees, stars, and people feel alive. Maybe more than any other artist, Van Gogh's feelings come out in his paintings. That's why Vincent Van Gogh is one of the world's greatest artists. So these are the things you're gonna be needing for making your Van Gogh sunflowers. Um, a cup of water, a pencil, you paint your new paintbrush, your new set of oil pastels, your box of paint, and of course, your sketchbook. So why don't you go get those things right now, and you're re when you're ready, you can watch the second video where I demonstrate how to make it.